Howdy y'all. Welcome to Air Gun Sunday. Well today we got a pair of Vera Schofields. We have a glued version of a short barrel. And we have a nickel plated with a longer barrel. Wooden grips on this one, pearl grips on this one. Let's take them to the bench and Look at them a little closer. Okay. Yeah, first of all, let me say thank you to Jose. These both belong to him. Say he's loaned me quite a few guns so far. So got a couple more to go. So anyway, here's the Barra Skullfields. And you know, this one here I mean, it's got about a seven eight inch barrel on it hey the wind's messing with me I mean, this does everything just like a normal skull fill these actually feel pretty darn good yeah uh, it's all metal as far as I can tell, everything's metal. They're not real heavy, uh, but they're they are pretty pr fairly heavy. And then you got the, the shorter one. It's got a little bit of patina on it. Let's see if I can keep it in the camera for y'all. Sure, I got this one in camera for y'all too. Now, they both hold cartridges. Let's open this one up because it's already got some in it. They're already loaded with pellets. Uh, they are technically, uh, there are the smooth bores, and they, uh, but they do have cartridges for both. This is the BB cartridge. Let me pull one of these out. difference between the twos this is a like a silicon and it's pretty hard but you pop the BB in the end and down there and then you put the pellet on this end of this one so what we're going to do right now is let's put that back in there We're going to put some CO2 in them. All right, let's start with a nickel plated one. There that is. Uh, always put some oil on your tip. They don't over tighten these things. There it went. There it is. That's it. Hear that little and just barely tighten it more. All right, same thing. It's going to go on the other one. Now, Jose stored this one in there. It's not. Wasn't tight, but it's 
All right, let's load up some cartridges. All right, so on the BBs, like I said, you've got the, you just take that this BB and you put it in there. And you just press it down in there. That's it. And we're gonna load it in. It's ready. So is this one now. I, if you watch my other videos, you've seen how you just press the pellet in from the back on these. All right, let's go see Frito the Bandito. Okay, something I want to say is my leathers aren't designed for skull fills. They fit okay. They're not perfect fits, but we're going to use them for today anyway. All right. Got a little bit more punch than the other guns I was shooting. Is it five or six? Who counted? There we go. All right. When I was laying. Shooting BBs out of this one. Uh, Jose's only got a set of six pellet cartridges for these two guns. So this one's shooting the pellets. This one's shooting BBs. I'm shooting steel. I've got my target set up at a, a good angle to help deflect them down. Be careful shooting uh, steel with BBs, okay? Wear your glasses. These are safety glasses, okay? These are my work glasses. So, let's get loaded up and do some more shooting. Okay, something I just learned, you have to let off the trigger on these. You can't hold it like you do, say, a Ruger or something like that. You gotta, you gotta let off the trigger for it to reset. All right. Can't keep count. Getting a little better.
impression of the Barra Schofields. I think they got a really nice smooth action compared to the Umarex Legends. They, they, this, that just feels a lot smoother, but you do have to release the trigger, uh, the cockpit. Uh, something that took me a little bit to get used to, tried a couple speed runs with it. Either forget the trigger, or I lose count. So we 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 got a couple good speed runs there though. Uh, really nice, smooth to me. And uh, I don't know what other models Bearer makes. <laughs> These may be the only two. I'm not for sure. I didn't look it up. And. Uh, thank Jose again for loaning them to the channel and I want to thank everybody for watching another episode of Airgun Sunday.